Britney bitch, and I'm back with a brand new car. Fuck, it's way too tight. So it's official, the wire transfer was just set. Uh, the car should be here within two weeks. I haven't told anyone that I got the car yet, so I haven't even seen the car. The car is from Texas, so we'll s hopefully, from what all the pictures and the videos I've been sent, it's a very good car. And and for to talk numbers, the car came out to be thirty-five thousand dollars. I know by no means is that cheap. And for the people in town that work for the IRS, I don't know how the fuck they got their job, but they always do their investigating. 10% uh, down, 20% interest, $1,000 payments. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Because there's no way I could afford to pay this car in total. So yeah, I had to finance. Some might be asking, why the f would I be downgrading to a scat pack? It's actually pretty simple. We're throwing all the carne on the asador. I think I've already said it, $35,000 is no cheap price, I guess. But for around thirty dollars to $32,000, you get a base model scat pack with around 20,000 miles. At $35,000, this car is a TA at 6,000 miles, and it pretty much has all the bells and whistles. Now going back to what I was saying about downgrading, to me, I feel like this is taking a step back. But you know how in like in basketball, when it, you could easily go for a two point slam dunk or like Steph Curry, you do that step back, shoot a three and it looks even nicer. So that's what I feel like I should do this point in my life because I have three major goals I want to accomplish this year. So it is day two of car ownership, as you can tell. I don't know, I feel sketched out because I haven't told anyone yet that I've got the car. I haven't posted it on social media. A lot of the cars I've gotten recently, I just haven't told anyone. And so I'm at my mom's house. Hopefully she doesn't overreact and we'll see what uh, my little brother's reaction is. So yeah, that's the new whip. <laughs> All of a sudden. <laughs> Hey, turtle. You did it. How long do you think I've had it? Like, not that long. You don't fuck around. I know. I fucks with it. Let's go, please. I gotta put my checklist. Oh, hurry up. Let's go. Bam. Look at you. I introduced to you guys my Challenger 392 TA. Pretty much the reason I bought this car, it's simple. We have more projects coming up because of the whole coronavirus thing that happened a lot of that was delayed also my video so I couldn't produce content and I just said fuck it I needed something reliable something fun I had three options which was a Challenger a C7 or a C6 I wanted something reliable and something I could swing because I realized in most of my videos I've never shown actually having fun so with this car that's something I really want to do on the channel now. It's a TA, so it pretty much has everything that's included with the TA. Functional, the Ram Air intake, functional hood scoops, the pins, the black striping, the black TA logo, 392 badge. It has the adaptable suspension like the Hellcat, six piston Brembo brakes like the Hellcat, 275 front and rear tires so it's pretty much a Hellcat without the supercharger and you know if we're gonna swing it we gotta have the three pedals manual gearbox heated vented seats navigation suede inserts TA logo moon or sunroof my bad so it pretty much has all the bells and whistles I know $35,000 out the door it's a lot for a car but you're getting so much car for that price. So if you haven't done so already, I highly suggest you subscribe, drop a like if you think this was actually a good purchase and you're excited to see what content's coming up. Thank you guys so much, see you guys on the next one.